Hello, I'm Idaho State Representative Heather Scott from District 1, and I appreciate you getting my newsletters, and I'm working on my year-end update and also handing over Idaho on a silver platter, part three. I know you guys have been waiting for that, but I really thought I should do a quick update on where we're at in this country and in this state with the big coronavirus scare. So I wanna concentrate this newsletter on that, and it may not be what you expect, but um, this is what I wanna share. So I want to remind citizens of, of where we live and why we live here and, and what type of a government we have. So uh, we, we live in a republic and we live in a free society and, and it is set up for government to have clearly listed and limited powers. Quite frankly, if it's not in the constitution and not listed as a power, the government can't do it unless we the people allow it. So I, you know, we're a country and we're a state of laws and there is this hierarchy of law. And of course there's God and natural law and then there's the Constitution, the U.S. Constitution, and then the Idaho Constitution. And then we have Idaho State Code, and then Idaho Administrative Law, and Administrative Rules. And what there is a hierarchy, and an unconstitutional uh, law, or edict, or order from a bureaucrat or any elected official cannot trump the Constitution, even in times of an emergency or crisis, which is what, what we're in right now. And so I just want to remind citizens that just because um, there's an emergency or something major is happening, our government still has to work within the boundaries of our Constitution. Um, our society too, all power is in the people. But if we do not exercise that power, um, we don't even act like we have that power. Someone, and usually government, will try to take it from us. Government always seems to want more power. Tyrants, whether they're a mayor or a county commissioner or a governor, um, they will always try to take uh, power from the citizens whenever there's an opportunity especially during a crisis or um, an emergency. Um, we have rights. We have God-given, inalienable rights. And those rights, many of them are listed in the Bill of Rights, but not all of our rights are listed there. Um, we, we have life, we have liberty, we have the right to possess property, um, property being your business. We have the right to speak freely, and we have the right to defend ourselves, and freedom of travel, and equal protection under the law. Why I'm telling you this is because the lying, Trump-hating media, who continues to push global and socialist agendas, has told us that there is an emergency, and it's a pandemic, and currently, I just did the numbers. There's, there's, as of yesterday, there was 205 cases of coronavirus with three fatalities in Idaho, and this is this is serious. Um, but that does not mean that our constitution just disappears or is null and void. Um, we have across the country, we have governors who are shutting down economies. They're shutting down businesses. Um, they're shutting down elections, and right, right before our very eyes, society is just stopping. And our governor, the Idaho governor, has, has bought into this frenzy and, and has issued a, an edict or an order um, stating that all Idahoans need to stay in their homes for 21 days, and only essential businesses can be operating. And then and he listed what those essential businesses were and were not. So I, quite frankly, I don't know why Idaho is falling in line with some of the most liberal governors across this nation. 
um, I, I have my opinions why, but um, we're, we're following step in line with, with the CDC. And the current path that I see that our executive branch is on is completely unconstitutional. And it's un-American, and I'm tired of hearing like, oh, the Idaho way. Well, this, what we're doing is not the Idaho way. Um, the direction of this executive branch is not the Idaho way. I, I have been having tons of phone calls, and people are scared, and I understand that. And they keep asking me the same, same question. Um, is my business essential? And how can I get added to the essential businesses? I, I need to work. Um, and then, then the other question I keep getting is, well, can, can our church meet? And can our, can our um, club meet? Or whatever, whatever they have to meet. And I, I, I want to say first that every single business in Idaho is essential business. Um, please, please, please do not buy into or reiterate um, this nonsense that there are essential and non-essential businesses. There is a 14th Amendment, and it talks about equal protection. It's called the Equal Protection Clause. And, and government cannot treat some businesses as essential and some as not essential. And that's, that's discrimination against against businesses and, and they just can't do it. It's unconstitutional. What what may be essential to one individual or one government official may not be to another. And it is not the role of government to be picking and choosing uh, which businesses are essential and which ones are not. Um, this is your life and your liberty and your property and the government cannot take that away without um, compensating you. So, uh, as for the meetings and the church services, uh, we have a God-given, constitutionally protected right to peacefully assemble. That means no one can take that right away from you, and you should not be bullied and intimidated to give up your rights. You can, you can voluntarily choose to not assemble, but you should not be pushed or you should not be forced to, to give up that right. Uh, remember, these unconstitutional edicts, they do not take precedence over inalienable rights. And they don't, uh, our constitution just doesn't disappear in these times of emergency. Um, the government has to work within the boundaries of the constitution, even during crisis times. That's, that's how free societies work. Um, you know, in a free society, the government, they can ask you, they can ask us, they can try to persuade us to do social distancing, to close our stores, to not leave our homes for 21 days, but it should not, and, and it actually can not force us. Um, Self-governing free societies, they ultimately allow the decisions to be made uh, by personal responsibility and by individual citizens. We do not live in North Korea. Now the North Korean government, they could force you or punish you if you don't comply. This is what an unfree society looks like. And from the reports I'm hearing, um, it sounds like this is what's happening in California right now to our neighbors in the West. Um, they are turning off businesses, water and lights if they will not close their businesses. Um, this is a tyrann tyrannical government. And, and citizens, should, they should be pushing back. Um, they, should, they should be pushing back on this. Um, where will it stop? And, and this, is just, this is just not right. Um, I, I haven't heard reports like that from Idaho yet, but I, I've, I've heard some disturbing things and I I'm, I'm, have, have to follow up on them yet. So jurisdictional boundaries. We have jurisdictional boundaries in place. Um, they're in our republic. And that's, you know, your city levels, your county levels. And those jurisdictional boundaries are in place for a reason. Um, our state protects us from the feds. Um, our counties protect us from state overreach. And so um, I guess 
I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it, our elections have consequences. Um, who have we put in office for this time of crisis? And my question is, will your county sheriff use his deputies to enforce an unconstitutional uh, edict or order from a governor? I, I know it won't happen in my county, but will it happen? Have you elected a sheriff that will do this? Um, will your city or county elected officials or bureaucrats punish you with a citation uh, if you want to exercise your God-given, constitutionally protected rights? It's crazy. It's crazy what's going on out there. And we, I mean, if you, if you try to close your, if they try to force you to close your business, will you, will you stand up for yourself? Will you have others stand up for yourself? Um, I know I'm willing to stand up for my neighbors who want to exercise their rights. And, and I'm, I, I think we all should be doing that right now. Um, we, we do not want to lose any more of our freedoms. We do not want to give up any more of our freedoms. So if we don't stand up for each other, I, I don't know where this is going to end. And I, I just received an email today from, or it was yesterday from the Idaho Department of Lands teaming with Idaho Department of DEQ and Health and Welfare. And they're asking, they've teamed together to ask me to not do any, uh, and, and probably many people across the state, to not do any non-essential burning. Now we have non-essential and essential burning. And um, this is on my property because their fear is that the smoke inhalations could resemble symptoms of coronavirus. So now I've got the government telling me not to burn my pine needles. Um, I, I need to stay home for 21 days but they don't want me outside burning or, or, or doing that. And, and it is not the role of government in a free society to tell us what we can and cannot do. Um, what's gonna be next, a penalty when I burn my pine needles? Um, this is not gonna end unless we, as citizens, push back and, and do not comply to unconstitutional edicts. Uh, we need to stand for each other um, I, I understand there's a real sickness out there and, and there are certain people at risk, but it is up to each of us um, to be personally responsible for our actions and our behavior. Uh, personal responsibility and working together will get us and we'll get Idahoans and we'll get Americans through anything, but let's not relinquish our rights because of fear. That's, that's what I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Um, I want to leave you with a few things in closing, six things you can do to start turning things around. And I think the first thing we could all do that would help every one of us is to turn off the lying television set and stop being fearful. We, we just need to stop being fearful. Um, number two, stop calling government and asking them whether you're essential or non-essential business and whether you can meet and go to work. Go back to business as normal um, if your livelihood depends on it. Um, take precautions. Uh, be, be a self-reliant, um, self-responsible citizen. And um, that's, that's what self-governance is all about. So number three, uh, you could start learning your rights and exercising your power and start empowering your friends and educating your neighbors on these matters. Uh, if you just get the Constitution, you can Google the Idaho State Constitution. You can Google the, the U.S. Constitution. A, a lot of things are listed in there, and they're really simple. And, and we really need to start exercising our rights. Um, our, our liberties are slipping away daily. Uh, number five, stop thinking about government as this top-down system. It, our republic is designed to be bottom-up with all power residing in the people. 
stop advocating your power. Um, start acting like we have power as citizens. And, um, and then number six, stand up, speak up, show up against tyranny at all levels. Stand firm on your God-given rights and exercise your authority as a citizen, as a citizen to push back on unconstitutional edicts that's going to control every part of our life. Uh, if we don't stop this, it, it's never going to stop. It's just never going to stop. It, it is irresponsible for us to not defend our rights. And our rights and freedoms are, are more important than any emergency. Um, millions die in countries when they have no rights and the government is in complete control. And something I heard a long time ago, and it, it really rings true for this, it, it says, we are the leaders we have been waiting for. I, I encourage you to, to be a leader, to, to take the lead and exercise your rights and stand up for others. Because when you stand up, others will stand with you. And that's about all I have. I, I really appreciate you listening to my video and getting my newsletters. And thank you. Bye.